The Radical used to be the racket. Then the line kind of fell off a cliff in the 2010s, but I honestly believe that the 2023 Radical Pro Auxetic is the most underrated racket on the market today. So many rackets were released earlier this year that a few were bound to fly under the radar. Now, V-Cores always make a huge splash whenever they come out, and the Pro Staff is a Pro Staff, enough said there. So for me, the one that flew under the radar was definitely the Head Radical Pro. Now, that was for me, maybe it wasn't for you guys, but I do just find that Radicals don't have the same hype as other lines, at least not nowadays. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Radical Pro, if you have played with it, and what you think of the Radical line in general. Maybe the 2020s can bring the line back to the early 2000s success. Also, please remember to like and subscribe and remember that if you want to buy a Radical Pro you can check it out on our website at racketsandrunners.ca. Actually it doesn't have to be a Radical Pro you can buy any racket you want really. Honestly back when I was growing up it was kind of like pure arrow here, pure drive there, the coaches all had pro staffs and then everyone else had a Radical. It really did typify the people's racket especially because it was kind of meant to be a more affordable and more user-friendly prestige. But I guess had thought they were too similar to the prestige and had to modernize the line so when the first graphene Radical came out they opened up the string bed, modernized the shape, and basically made it play very differently to what a Radical had been in the past. That kind of plunged the Radical into a much less successful era. Players who had been using classic Radicals kind of felt lost with the new design, and players looking for that modern playability didn't really consider the Radical name to be something new and exciting. Head did take a huge step in the right direction with the previous 360 Plus Radical Pro. That racket was super solid and made big improvements in terms of feel and connectedness to the ball. Now, by adding Auxetic to the racket, they've made some subtle but noticeable improvements to the Radical Pro that honestly makes this racket one of the best all-around playability rackets that you can find right now. Now keep in mind, at 315 grams with a 330 swing weight, this is definitely an advanced player's racket. If you do want something a little bit more user-friendly, the Radical MP is also great, and it'll definitely be a little bit easier to swing. I've already reviewed the Radical MP. You can go check that out, by the way, on our website, racketsandrunners.ca. But basically, the Radical Pro takes all the great playability of the MP and just cranks it up a notch but to access all that great playability you do have to be able to handle this racket over the course of a two hour session or a match and that won't be for everyone. Honestly, at the end of some of my sessions playtesting the Radical Pro, I was definitely getting a little bit tired, but also it has gotten quite a bit warmer and the sun has come out in Vancouver finally. That's why I have this tan line right here. So that might be why. But anyways, I playtested the Head Radical Pro first with Lynx Tour at 53 pounds and then with Head Hawk Touch also at 53 pounds. Sometimes I scoff a little bit at Head's cheesy marketing blurbs that they put on their header cards, but here I gotta say it couldn't be more accurate. Radical diversity is the perfect way to describe the Radical Pro. It's definitely a little bit unfortunate for this racket because variety isn't as marketable or as sexy as spin, power, and control, I guess you could say, but in terms of a racket that can do it all extremely well, there isn't really much better out there. I noticed it right away. Within the first five minutes of my playtest, I'd gone from really spinning the ball to then countering moon balls with some really flat, powerful counter punchy shots. And honestly, the racket responded really well to both those styles of shots. Usually a racket that is noticeably very spin friendly doesn't really like flat hitting and vice versa. So I noticed pretty early that there definitely was a little something special going on with this racket. Now here's the problem with great variety, and you'll notice this become a bit more of a theme as I get into more specific playability characteristics, but if you're good at everything, you're not going to be the best at any one thing. I don't think the Radical Pro is the best at anything, but being a jack of all trades is definitely not a bad thing whatsoever. Like I just said, the Radical is excellent everywhere, but if I did have to pick one playability characteristic that stands out, that would have to be the control. Especially on the Radical Pro, because it does have such a heavy static and swing weight, the stability on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's so solid on every type of shot, whether that's a return, if you are trying to counter your opponent's pace, volleys, or like I mentioned earlier, if you are trying to generate pace off of no pace. The feel is also excellent, and honestly probably the biggest improvement coming from the 360 Plus, which already felt very good, but we kind of know the story already with Auxetic. It's kind of just made all of Head's lineup just generally feel better. So the layup with the Auxetic tech feels great, and when you combine that with the thin undulating beam, you get a really good connection to the ball when it enters and exits the string bed. That being said, the feel isn't traditional, at least not compared to those more classically shaped rackets. Because the beam isn't constant, 
and the shape is a little bit more modern and aerodynamic. It doesn't have that same consistent flex. It's a more modern and stable flex where the sweet spot is noticeably bigger and a little bit more forgiving, kind of like on the speed, although the Radical Pro is more precise because it is still a 98. Now, this is definitely more of a personal preference thing, but with that unstrung flex being at 64 RA, I had a really, really good connection to the ball here. It's got a crispness and pop to it without being uncomfortable whatsoever. Now, 64 isn't stiff, but it is a little bit stiffer than more traditional players' frames. But here's the thing. As good as I found control to be on the Radical Pro, I still don't think it's as good as what you'll get from true top-tier control rackets. I'm talking about your Pro Staff 97s, your Prestige Pros, and even something like a Gravity Pro. Because the design is more modern, and especially because that sweet spot is a little bit bigger, you don't get the same oozing pinpoint control, and I did find the launch angle to be noticeably higher than that style of racket. It's actually kind of funny because obviously Head's got their little CPI thing, and the CPI on this racket is 200, just like on the Prestige Pro and the Gravity Pro, but I gotta disagree because this racket is noticeably less controlled than those two rackets. Those two rackets, to me, kind of define classic soft control, but the fact that this isn't as controlled as them isn't necessarily a bad thing. The Radical Pro might not be as controlled as the best controlled rackets, but it blows all those frames out of the water in terms of power. Don't get me wrong, this is still a player's frame, but for something with such a thin beam, it's got quite impressive plow through and put away power. I think it does partially come down to that higher flex, but also that non-constant beam and more modern shape definitely helps make it noticeably more powerful than those pure control rackets. To me, this little bit of extra power gives it a modern element that a lot of players will like, but it's obviously not going to be quite as powerful as something like a pure drive or an all Ultra, not as powerful as true power rackets, I guess you could say. I think we're starting to sense a theme here. Also, that slightly higher launch angle that I mentioned earlier definitely makes it a little bit less predictable than rackets with a relatively lower launch angle, but it also gives the racket a little bit more leverage over the ball for power and spin. Okay, so at this point, it's probably going to come as no surprise that spin is really excellent on the Radical Pro. There's not much in the way of spin tech inside the racket, but I do find it to be shaped a little bit more aerodynamically than more classically shaped 98s. And also, I did find this string bed to be really good for spin potential. Now, I do know it is labeled as a control pattern, and it definitely gets a little bit tighter in the middle of the string bed, but there is still plenty of space for the strings to move and snap back here. It's part of why the launch angle is a little bit on the higher side, but it's also why there is such great spin potential. It is interesting, though. I do find there's just a naturally snappier feel to the strings here. It could be the Auxetic tech working its magic, although I am a little bit conflicted as to whether Auxetic actually amplifies spin or not. Don't get me wrong, it's not artificially spinny like an extreme or a pure arrow, but there does seem to be just a little something extra in the string bed here. Maybe it's the sound grommets. I already made a joke about these in my Radical MP short, but it was so funny that I'm gonna make it again. I've listened and I still can't hear them. <coughs> That's enough, Luca. So yes, there is fantastic spin potential on the Radical Pro, which is still weird for me to say because every time I think Radical, I think H22, 1820, but still it's not quite as spin friendly as the most spin friendly rackets in the world. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really feel the need to talk about a racket's comfort much anymore these days because even very stiff rackets don't really feel that uncomfortable anymore, but maybe that is just me. So it goes without saying that I find the Radical Pro very comfortable. Auxetic does a great job of absorbing any bad vibrations, but again, you do just need to be careful here. This is a heavy racket, so if you can't swing a heavy racket or you have to strain to swing it, it definitely could cause some issues there, but it isn't uncomfortable. There's been an obvious theme during this review that the Radical Pro is great at X, but not as good at X as rackets that are specifically made for X, but then it doesn't sacrifice Y to accomplish X. Hopefully that made sense. But that is kind of what it comes down to. The Radical Pro is obviously Head's advanced player's racket that's meant to be good at everything without really sacrificing at anything. What I will say is that this racket has gotten just a little bit better all around with the introduction of Auxetic Tech. So if the previous Radical was a jack of all trades, then this is a queen of all trades or a king of all trades if you're playing ace high. Here's the thing though, if you are still skeptical of trying the Radical Pro because you don't think it's going to be good enough at any one thing, it is so close to being elite in every playability characteristic that you can kind of push it over the edge with the string setup that you choose. If you want to make it even better for spin, put a slick poly at a low tension. If you want to make it better for control, put a stiffer poly at a higher tension. If you want to get it all time fantastic feel, you can put natural gut into the mains, although that won't be the cheapest option. All that is to say that you can kind to make the Radical Pro whatever you want it to be. And if you do want to compliment its great variety, you can be like me, Hawk Touch at 53. It might be a little boring, but it does the trick. 
The Radical Pro 2023 is an excellent racket that really surprised me. It's not like classic Radicals, but it is the best modern Radical that I've tried to date, and I do think that it's going to help the line gain a bit of the popularity it lost over the last decade. It's an extremely underrated racket that is absolutely worth a demo. So is the MP, by the way. So if you want to try them out, come by the store, or you can check them out at racketsandrunners.ca.